Hi, I'm Dr. Igor Kozak from King Khaled Eye Specialist Hospital in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I'm going to show you a case of uh, uh, panretinal photocoagulation with the pattern mode using retinal uh, navigation. A navigated laser photocoagulator Navilas was introduced in 2009 initially for focal laser treatment with an ability to perform color infrared and fluorescent angiography imaging. In addition to that, digital treatment planning of desired treatment location based on fundus images and subsequent image focal laser treatment to compensate eye movements. Navigation functions offered by this laser for focal treatment, such as laser prepositioning by computer assistance, has been studied extensively and has shown significant increase in treatment accuracy compared to all currently existing laser systems. Recently, Navilas was extended with navigated panretinal photocoagulation that allows imaging and the prepositioning of a single and multi-spot laser patterns up to far periphery with continuous prepositioning of the laser beam position relative to eye movements. As a result of stabilization of the laser onto the retina, multi-spot treatment patterns may now be applied with a well-known longer pulse duration such as 100 milliseconds and above. This makes following the ETDRS protocol for panretinal photocoagulation possible even with pattern laser photocoagulation technique, which is not a feature of currently available systems. Furthermore, navigated laser treatment minimizes patient light exposure by using continuous infrared imaging and limiting visible light to image captures to assess treatment evaluation images. Here in, I'm showing you a panretinal photocoagulation with a prepositioning of arrays of uh, laser applications. The prepositioning can be carried out using uh, either a joystick on a computer or a touch screen. And uh, uh, by using that, we target the areas of uh, leakage or non-perfusion and add any additional um, uh, retinal areas with ischemia. Here in this case, we can see local uh, intraretinal hemorrhage uh, with uh, uh, proliferative diabetic disease, which required panretinal photocoagulation. Uh, as you can see, we are placing this arrays of uh, uh, laser applications in duration of 100 milliseconds and uh, patient's ocular movements are compensated by uh, navigation function. Uh, we also uh, can capture the images during uh, photocoagulation procedures, and as you can see, we have a wide angle view as we perform panretinal photocoagulation using infrared light, uh, which is not uh, bothersome for a patient. Uh, the ability to use wide angle imaging uh, during uh, this procedure uh, is a unique feature to uh, navigate it uh, photocoagulator. Um, as uh, we can see here, we are continuing uh, a very nice pattern. Um, and, and again, at this portion of the treatment, we are using touch screen uh, to pre-place our uh, positions. Here we are lasering nasal part of a uh, patient's right eye. We can follow the treatments on TV monitor screen, uh, which is also excellent for educational purposes, uh, whereby uh, other physicians can observe directly uh, as the treatment is ongoing. Uh, the green line then uh, captures the images. Uh, and these images are automatically saved to the system. We can always check the uh, intensity of retinal burn and uh, can adjust uh, uh, that uh, along with uh, laser parameters such as uh, spot size and uh, spacing. At the end of the treatment, we uh, can evaluate saved images and uh, the system will provide us with a detailed report uh, with 
notification of laser energy, number of spots used, and placing. Uh, thank you for your attention.